see how many people come on the live stream. Give it a few minutes. Have a late night discussion. Alex, Alex, what's up? The effer man. Hey, how's it going? I'm going to start the chat pretty soon. Doing a late night, last minute chat. Sam, what's up? Starting this off a little late. Robert, what up? Carlos, slow. One solo. What's going on, man? Doing good. Crazy Stilla, what's up? Joshua Perez, what up? Gzilla, I was watching your last live stream from three days ago. Yeah, I, I uh, was going to post a live one yesterday and I, I didn't have time. Um, I should be getting, if you guys haven't followed, uh, <laughs> if you guys haven't followed, um, my, or if you guys didn't watch my, lab, my last live stream, you guys knew that my laptop broke. Uh, I should be getting a new one tomorrow which means I'll be back up doing reviews. I already shot a few pre-recorded videos on some reviews. And um, I, uh, Carlos, thank you. I also shot some toy hunting videos today that I that I filmed today. So you guys will be seeing all that. Sam, what's up? So if, if you guys watch my, if you guys follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Seha Man because I post a lot of stuff that I find. What am I recording with then? I'm actually using my iPhone. And I'm doing the uh, YouTube because I have the YouTube app on here, and I can do a, a live stream on this on this on my mobile phone. Do you want to hold a rat? That's the part you were at. Please sub to me, Carlos. I'll check out your channel. But yeah, so the new laptop should be arriving tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what's what's going on. Sam, what's cracking? Nothing much, man. It's like a little after 11 p.m. I figured I'd do a quick little live chat. Just got the Mezco Joker and it's really amazing. Yeah, the Mezco Joker is awesome. I, I saw that new punk one looks freaking sick. Are you gonna get any of the ST, SD, I was gonna say STDs. Are you gonna get any STDs? Are you gonna get any of the SDC exclusive legends? I got a lot of the pops. Uh, I didn't get any legends though. Arm, what's up? I've been watching tons of your toy hunts the past couple days. You should be getting a big YouTube check. <laughs> I wish, man. Alex, Alex, am I tired? I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting a little bit tired. Um, yeah, this will be a short little chat. That's what I always say, and they end up being like an hour. <clears throat> I um, uh, did a toy hunting video today. I was trying to look for the Batman Mask of the Phantasm Blu-ray. Had no luck finding it. Yeah, Mesco has some great stuff on display. I saw some of the pictures you posted. Have you, have you played Friday the 13th game? I actually have. It's pretty good. It's 2.05 a.m. What are you doing up? You don't want those STDs. For sure I don't, man. I'm still wait waiting on the Mezco Black Adam. Yeah, that Black Adam looks sick. I'm still waiting on the Spider-Man ones. What about NECA's Pan Labyrinth reveals? Best news ever. Yeah, those look really cool. New IT trailer on Thursday. Dude, you don't even know how hyped I am. I'm on hunt right now to look for that chase. It's 2 a.m. there. Crimes DCUO. What's up? I need that Megazord. I actually picked one up today. Again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see a lot of stuff that I picked up. Oh, like I was saying, I, I did a toy hunting video today trying to look for Batman of the Mask, Mask of the Phantasm. I couldn't find it in any stores, which means I have to look for it on Amazon. But um, um, I ended up finding the Thor Ragnarok figures, but I, I passed on those. I didn't like how they looked. Let me see what you guys... Uh, have you played Injustice 2? I uh, No, but I've watched the gameplay on it. Those Batman, Superman, Alien, Predator crossover figures look sick. Yeah, but I heard those were on hold. I don't think it's going to go anytime soon. Bro, you never said why you chose the name. Yeah, I I, I, I said why I met, uh, did the name Seha Man. It, I started it like when YouTube first started... Um, when YouTube first started out you in order to watch like explicit videos you had to have an account so my buddy created the account for me and i'm really big on comics and batman and he came up with the name like let's make you a superhero name he's like your last name is eyebrows you know seha so he was like let's make it seha man and i was like yeah whatever you know no one's ever gonna see that name and then when i decided to do a youtube videos like five years later that's what i got stuck with and uh it is what it is did you order the Mezco STD exclusives? No, I didn't order any. I didn't order any of the exclusives. I think Hulk looks pretty nice. <clears throat> the Hulk uh, Mezco look cool. 
Say hi, man. Say hi, man. No, it's all good. A lot of people ask me how I got my name. Say hi, man. I, I honestly didn't cho choose the name. A friend did. Yeah, I'm not getting those Mezco since Mezco. Best YouTuber ever. I sub a year ago. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I ended up um, finding Batgirl. So you can see. I'm trying to build King Shark. So I ended up finally getting the arm for, for him. So um, I have not built a, a build a figure in quite a while. So he's one I really want to get uh, to get completed together. I've been here since you were bald. Yeah, I had a buzzed head. Yeah, you're pretty all bro. What? Yeah, you're pretty. Oh, ill? Is that supposed to be ill? Have you ever watched Mars Attacks? That's a great movie. I like that movie a lot. It's got a lot of stars in it. Just finished watching the original It. I love the original It, man. I've been, I watched the original It so much throughout the year. It's it's one of my uh, favorite horror movies. It's been since I since I I saw the movie the miniseries It when it was aired on television when they aired it as a miniseries and I recorded it on VHS. Keep doing your figure reviews, yeah, man. I got a lot of figure reviews coming up. What's your favorite Batman storyline? Um, I really enjoy uh, the, well. My God, uh, the Dark Knight Returns. The Dark Knight Returns is probably my favorite. Ill, okay, all right, I get it. Favorite N64 game? I, you know, I never owned an N64. My neighbor had it, and I used to play it a lot. Um, it was probably, I think it was either Mario Kart or GoldenEye. I want the builder for voucher. I'm gonna spend 120. I want the builder for your. I want the builder for your voucher, but I don't want to spend 120. It has a is a great movie. I'm so hyped for the new one. Yeah. I'm I'm really excited for the it movie. I'm telling you guys, it's I'm this is my most anticipated movie. They're making a video game. They're making it video game for the new movie, really. That's crazy. The Justice League figures actually looks good. You think so? I liked I like the Flash. I think the Flash looks pretty good. Man 007 and Mario Kart are sick, I know. Let's hope NECA makes Mars Attack figures. Possible John Martian Lee. I don't know if NECA I mean does anybody who had the license for last Mars Attack action figure? I think it was Mezco. I think Mezco had the uh, an exclusive or something. Because they did one on Earthworm Jim, and I think they did one on, on Mars Attacks. <clears throat> Seb Killer, what's up? SH Figure Arts is making JL figures. Yeah, they look good. They look good. Yeah, good paint apps and sculpts on Justice League. Yeah, Mezco had it. Have you seen the new Thor trailer? Yeah, um, I was actually filming a toy hunting video today, and I discussed my thoughts on the Thor trailer. I actually, when they showed the first Thor teaser, I was really excited for the movie. Then when I saw the new trailer that just aired for Comic-Con, um, it, it seemed like it was too much humor. But don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to love the movie either way, even though I didn't like Thor number two. But um, that last shot of Hulk fight, uh, jumping in to fight that big, I don't know who that villain is. You guys can let me know right now who the villain is on the new Thor Ragnarok, the, the big dude. When I saw that, 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 that freaking won me over favorite game ever uh it's probably between donkey kong country for nintendo for super nintendo or legend of zelda link to the past new dc lego coming multiverse i meant what movie from 2017 you don't have any expectations whatsoever um Uh, I, 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 probably Alien Covenant, and I was right about it. I messed up, lol. I want the Marvel Legends Vulture with the wings, but don't want to buy all the, the toys. I know that's what sucks about a lot of these these builder figures and, and baths and whatnot, or collecting connects, is that you have to buy all these characters that are crap. Yeah, I love I love SNES, man. I, Super Nintendo was my favorite system. I like this live-ish. Hopefully, Mezco makes a 112 Mars attacks. That would be pretty pretty dope. That Michael Myers looks freaking badass. What's your favorite comic crossover ever? Um, one that I liked a lot was when I read the Amalgam. I think that's what it's called when Marvel and DC fought together and then they merged and became like one character. Like Batman and Wolverine became Dark Claw. That was one of my favorite ones. What Troy, what type of music am I into? Uh, I'm into uh, rock, rap, 
R&B, uh, but I listen to a lot of rock from the 90s and early 2000, and lately I've been listening to a lot of 1975. Yeah, I'm trying to finish The King's Shark. It's just, now I gotta hunt down for two figures which are a little on the pricey side, and I don't wanna spend that money on those figures because they suck. I don't care for the characters, I just want the pieces for this. Do you know SML? Uh, no, who's that? Can you give us a gun show? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a gun show right here. There's your gun show. Got a nice gun right here. Mm -hmm. Power Ranger, Zeo, Megazord. Can you do a toy hunt review? Power Ranger, Zeo, Megazord. Is it a legacy? Super Mario Logan. Dude, the Pennywise with the balloon looks sick. And the one with the the one with the wig is the one I'm telling you. That's the one I'm gonna get. The one with the wig is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Deadpool nerf? No, I didn't. I saw that Marvel Legends Deadpool with a symbiote. That thing looks freaking sick. I'm not a big Deadpool fan, but I'm a big um, uh, Venom and Symbiote fan. Any new Alien or Predator pickups? You know what? I was debating on getting those anniversary Predators uh, with the you know the Jungle Predator and then um, the different um, Dutches, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just going to wait to get them at Big Bad Toy Store. It's on SDC Nerf Gun. Really? I didn't know that. I had no idea. That'd be That's actually pretty cool. I just um, opened these guys up too. Uh, I know they're a little older figures, but it's the uh, ultimate Miles Morales and the ultimate Peter Parker and Venom, of course, my favorite, probably my favorite Marvel villain. <clears throat> I hear you hear you talk about Batman the Animated Series. What about Super? You know what, Superman the Animated Series? I never really got into. Um, I actually own Volume One and Volume Two. I'm looking at it right now, and they're sealed still. I haven't even opened them yet. I've seen a few episodes. But I've been telling myself to watch it, and I, I keep on forgetting. Did you ever read, read Christed on Infinite Earth? Infinite Earths. Yes, I read it a long time ago. Are you hot that you have to have the fan on? Dude, uh, in Corona, it's a little warm. It's a little warm here. When are the GL Funko Pops coming out? Oh, man, I don't know. I think between August and September? I remember said you had a special video when Alien Covenant comes out. I don't remember seeing it. Did I miss it? Yeah, I, I I didn't shoot anything because I didn't like the movie. Half scale Deadpool neck. Yeah, I think it's crazy. That's that's too big. What's the saddest Batman, the animated series episode? Um, you know what? I'm gonna totally forget the name of the episode. It's one where um, oh my god, I think somebody, I think Batman was somebody. Oh jeez, I all I remember is the ending where Batman's talking to a guy, or Bruce Wayne is talking to a guy that I think that worked with his father, and he was like, can you tell me about my father? And Bra and Bruce uh, had like a sad face. I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about from what episode that is, but that's one of the saddest DC moments in uh, Batman the Animated Series. Pray NECA does a one tw one twelve or one ugh, half scale alien. That would be cool if they did that. What's the best Jason Vor Voorhees figure? Uh, my favorite one is uh, from the cult classics. I think it was part seven. Watch anything good on Netflix. I actually just watched Rogue One on Netflix because I didn't catch it in theaters. And I, I really liked Rogue One. I liked it better than, um, than uh, what was that movie called? The other one, Force Awakens. Dumbass reviewer, what's up? STAS is a great series, man. Get a couple beers, crack those Superman animated. You know, I got I, I to gotta check it out. I got to check out the... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I'll like it because I've seen a few episodes and I did like it, but I just... Mm. What was your first Funko, Funko Pop? My, uh, mine was actually given to me as a gift from a friend before I even knew what Funko Pops were. And I think it was from the first actual series and it was a Green Lantern. It was a Green Lantern Pop because uh, I'm a big Green Lantern fan. DC has good cartoons. What's up with their movies? Uh, they're doing a good job. No, you know, Joss Whedon is, is cleaning up a lot of Zack Snyder's stuff. So... Uh, you know, I have I have a lot of faith in, in it now, especially since Wonder Woman did so well, which I'm going to tell you guys right now, Wonder Woman is one of the best comic book movies I have ever seen. And I love a lot of comic book movies, but 
that one just hits you right in the heart, man. I mean, that No Man Land scene is just amazing, amazing. So Wonder Woman, I think, is going to change the the way for the DCEU. You don't display your pops anymore. I still do display my pops. I know I heard we're getting a Wonder Woman sequel December 3rd, 2019. I want that JL poster from SDCC. The I know, the uh, Alex Ross one. It's freaking sick. The Justice League SDCC trailer color. I love the new trailer. It looks great. Are you into Telltale games? I've never played. Have you had any luck on the Funko Spider-Man Iron? You know what? When I do my toy hunts looking for them, I just want to see them. I'm, I don't plan on picking it up, though. Batman is the only good movie DC makes. No, I like Man of Steel and the Superman ones. Those are really good. And Wonder Woman. DC has some great animated uh, movies, though. <clears throat> yeah, I love the new Justice League trailer. The Justice League trailer blew me away. The Flash looks great. Cyborg finished looks awesome. Pretty sure they're going to tweak them up a little bit more, but oh, man, the trailer looked awesome. Our Ares could have been better. I hope we get a female villain. Um, I, I thought Ares is okay. I thought he was handled okay. What Hot Toys am I looking forward to? Dude, all everything from Justice League. Spider-Man Homecoming, the homemade suit. And the new suit actually looks good. And the uh, quarter-scale Joker and the quarter-scale Batman. Those ones I'm, are the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Do you realize you're a syndicate member and don't even know it? See, that's the thing. You know, I didn't even know it was a... A lot of people add, add me to the groups, and I don't know. But another thing you guys need to realize is when I, when I post stuff on Instagram and I post stuff on Facebook... I link my pictures from Instagram to Facebook. I never go on Facebook. I'm always on Instagram because I know a lot of people message me privately on 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 uh, Facebook, and I don't I don't I never see them because I never go on Facebook. I'm always on Instagram. So your best way to private message me or whatever, you know, to check out my my like whatever I'm posting, like toys that I find or whatever, it's you you're better off following me on Instagram. I saw the, be the basic Justice League figures at Target. Why didn't you text me, man? What Target was this? I want to get those figures. What well, Target was a DAR? Because I might stop by tomorrow. Will you be watching or getting Harley Quinn and Batman animated movie? For sure. The Batman and Harley. Uh, it doesn't look terrible. I'm, I'm going to check it out. What female villain would you like to go see her up against? I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know. To, to be honest with you, I don't know too many crazy female villains in the dc universe i mean you who do you guys think oh there's one left uh norco eh, nah, i don't want to go that way will you ever do a fan meetup or greet i thought about it but i don't think anybody would show up <laughs> just be, being real with you guys i feel like the justice league funko pops will end up appearing at hot topic or gamestop this weekend think that soon I think the next villain should be Brainiac. That would be sick. Brainiac would be sick. Would you ever do it? Oh, I already read that. Do you think NECA will make a Friday the 13th Part 9 retro cloth Jason figure? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're going to milk the Jason line. Between every horror movie, Slasher would win. What? Harley or Ivy? Um, I love Harley Quinn, but I think, I think, I think Ivy's sexy, to be honest with you. I'm thinking of picking up the Batman movie Lego set. Uh, one penguin with the car looks chill. That, that does look good. Harley or Poison Ivy? I gotta go with Poison Ivy. Are you excited for the new It trailer this Thursday? Hell yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, I heard we get to hear his voice and we get to see a few more extra scenes. And yeah, I'm hearing this movie scary and uh, very violent. Cheetah. Oh, Cheetah, that's right. Suicide Squad is a great movie. I don't get where all the... You know what? I enjoyed Suicide Squad both times I saw it in theaters. And then when I bought it on Blu-ray, I watched it two or three more times. And the more I watched it, the more I actually hated the movie. Did you get the Megazord pop? Yes. Do you like rock candy figures? Rock candy figures? What is that? What comics are you reading right now? I, ha I have the Spider-Man 2. Um, I picked up the first issue of Spider-Man 2. But I haven't read it yet, and it's been sitting in my car for a week. And plus, I'm reading all the DC stuff. DC Rebirth, uh, the metal. Is that what's called, the metal? Dark Ages? Reading that. What's your thoughts on the Hot Toys Gladiator Hulk? That thing looks sick. I think I might pick that up. 
That thing just looks like a beast. Where do you see those store legends at? They were at uh, the Cajalco Target, but they're gone. They are gone. Did you see the Suicide Squad extended cut? Yes, and it was freaking pointless. Picking up any Criterion Collection Blu-rays? No, you know what? <clears throat> I, I've said I mentioned this before. I don't really know much about the Criterion Collections. I don't know what what's so different about them. I think it's the features, right? The special features on them, and I don't know what titles are even in the Criterion Collection. I mean, I know Barnes and Noble has a fifty percent off on them. Rock Candy from Funko? No. Do you have a Green? Do you think Green Lantern is going to be in the new Justice League? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think they're going to throw a lot of hints at him though, because obviously at the end we know it's going to be Superman. Watch it be Supergirl or Nightwing or something. Any Ninjango fans? Anybody a Ninjango fan? Where do you shop for clothes? Do I go to like a lot of places, man? I go to Pacific Sunwear. I go to H&M. Sometimes I go to Tilly's. Um, that's, that's about it, I think. I think. Ever thought of getting a different hairstyle? Uh, no? No? What kind of hairstyle you think would fit me? I'm out if GL ain't in there. He's not going to be in there. But if they do, that'd be so surprising. Watch him be like in an after uh, after credit scene. Criterion has better transfers. The picture quality is great. Really? Well, I gotta I gotta go to um I gotta go to um Barnes and Noble again because they have a fifty percent off. Do you skip the fidget spinner wave? Yeah, I actually got hit up by a few sponsors or a few people hit me up on Instagram about sponsorship. I didn't want to get into it. Did you see the new Ultimate Chucky? Hell yeah, I'm going to pick that up for sure. Spiky hair? I can't pull spiky hair no more, man. I had spiky hair all teenage years. I hope we get a DC movie with the Black Lanterns. Dude, I seriously hope we get all that. I hope they introduce... You know what I would like to see if they do a Green Lantern movie and take it further? Blackest Night. I would love to see a Blackest Night storyline. Where's Jay? Uh, Jay's with his mom. I feel like Superman will be a minor character and yeah, I think he's gonna be I think he's gonna be in there very little. He's probably gonna be there he's probably gonna come at the uh final battle scene. When are we getting a Black Adam movie? They didn't announce that, did they? They just announced Shazam. You should get the Chun Li Pixel Pals. Did you pick it up? Green Lantern credit scene or Dark Side credit scene? I think we might get a little something of Dark Side throughout the movie. You think they're going to reboot Batman with this new Flashpoint announcement? I think something's going to happen with that. But I was watching um, Collider videos. I think that's what they call themselves or Collider News. And they made it. They did a good thing about talking about if they want to bring a younger Batman in. And, you know, they, they still put Batman in, in, in uh, Matt Reeves' Batman. But it, it goes back in time. Like, you know what I mean? It goes from a younger Batman to an older Batman. I think that's a great way to introduce a younger Batman in the movie. We need more girl power in the MCU and DCU, don't you think? Yeah, uh, I think MCU does. DCU is fine right now with Wonder Woman. MCU doesn't really have anybody. Who do they have? Scarlett Johansson? But, I mean, the thing I liked about Wonder Woman is that she didn't have to show her tits and show her ass. You know what I mean? And which I think is great for... Um, little girls and teenagers and somebody to look up to. Like Scarlett Johansson is just there to look pretty and show off her her tits and, and butt. You know, I I don't think I don't think um, Marvel is going to be able to reenact what DC did with uh, with Wonder Woman. I really don't think so. Gal Gal Gadot is classy and uh, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. She seems like. She seems like, Gal Gadot seems like what Wonder Woman, what, what Henry Cavill is in real life. Because he seems like he's really a Superman guy and then the movies are making him really dark. Gal Gadot seems like she's Wonder Woman in real life and in the movies. Like Henry Cavill seems like he's Superman in real life. That make any sense? Cough Harley. Yeah, but Harley does come off kind of hoochie though. I mean, even in the, even in the cartoons, she came off kind of like sexy. Um, you know what I mean? So, I love DC Comics better than Marvel movies. I love DC Comics overall. I don't like. I don't really like a lot of the Marvel titles, uh, comic wise. We need a Blue Beetle movie. When are you gonna have a yard sale? <laughs> we need. You know, I already read that. Shardimus Prime found Ragnarok wave at Walgreens. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that post. They made her tits smaller for Ghost in the Shell. I never watched that. 
Elizabeth. Oh yeah, Elizabeth Olsen is the had a lisp right there. I forgot about Elizabeth Olsen. Just went to F right E earlier for a toy hunt. Did you find the Batman Mask of the Phantasm Blu-ray there? They only got Captain Marvel coming up in 2019. They got to step it up. Oh, you know what though, guys? Yeah, I'm tired of Black Widow. I am tired of Black Widow. Who would you cast as Bl Batgirl? That's a tough one. Emma Stone. I don't know. Emma Stone. I think Emma Stone's hot. I also think Emma Watson's hot. Say what you will. I like that natural look. They announced the Ninja or Apache Power Rangers legacy line. It's supposed to hit early. Do you think the WB should show Superman and Justice League trailers? I don't think they should. I don't think they should. They should just keep it waiting because we all want to see that Superman we've been waiting for. I think I think they should hold him off. Next hot toy I plan on getting is going to be whatever comes out from Justice League or Spider-Man Homecoming. What's wrong with TNA? What's 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 TNA? I don't yeah, I don't like a lot of girls with a lot of makeup. Um I that's not my my preference. I just don't I like the natural look. You know you know why? Let me tell you why. I I'm, I'm 32 years old obviously. I've had, you know, I've dated women. I don't like to date somebody that wears a lot of makeup and then you wake up the next day and it's a completely different person. You get what I'm saying? I, and I just don't like all the makeup too because it gets on your clothes when they hug you. So I just I just don't like it. Don't watch Valerian acting. as I heard Valerian was really bad and they lost a lot of money. Heard that movie lost so much money. PS4 and Nintendo, I might go with Nintendo. 64 and Super Nintendo. You look way younger. Nah, I don't. I don't think so. If Flashpoint is done right, it'll be a game changer. I think Flash. I think Flashpoint. They they decided to do Flashpoint to change Zack Snyder's universe around a little bit. But they haven't established so many characters yet, so I don't know how they're gonna do this Flashpoint. It's gonna be interesting. I would like to see Jeffrey D. Morgan though as Batman. Clay, what's up? No, I'm not 25, man. I'm 32. 32. Hey, you know, I don't know if it's still up on YouTube, but yeah, Amber Heard is Mara is hot. Um, Infinity War is leaked on YouTube, in YouTube, the trailer. I just watched it yesterday. Let me tell you this, though. It took away from the experience of watching it in, in the theater because watching it on a small screen, the way you know it was bootlegged, it didn't seem that great to me, but you get to see Spider-Man in the Iron Man in the Iron Spider suit. Um, they show Thanos. Yeah, you wait for the good quality, dude. Don't do what I did. Don't watch the bootleg one. It's cool seeing Captain America in the damn beard, though. Yeah, it was. But the trailer looks, yeah, trailer looks pretty good. But I'm only saying yeah right now because of the quality I saw it in. Yeah, we need we need to see a trailer soon. How come I don't do reviews with my girlfriend anymore? I'm not dating the same girl I was with before, and if you guys don't know that. Have you watched the Gargoyles cartoon? Yeah, I saw it a long time. I used to watch it as a kid. Do you ever see yourself becoming a hardcore Funko Pop collector? Try not to be. Yeah, a lot of people are going to wear the Infinity Gauntlet, for sure. I don't like Captain America all scuffy, better shaved. Isn't he supposed to be Nomad in this movie or something? Did you check out my channel? I believe I did. I don't remember. Cause my I, I I told my girlfriend to remember to check out your channel. I really don't remember. Why don't you why don't I leave a beard? I can't, dude. I can't grow a beard. My facial hair, it it doesn't grow out right. Like you see, you can kind of see a five o'clock shadow right now, because I haven't shaved. Dude, this is not shaving in two days. Of course I trim it, but this is two days right here. I I don't grow a beard right. Do you have thin hair? Well, do I have no hair? I got little fuzzies. That's all I get, man. And it comes out uneven. I don't want to deal with it. I like the clean look, to be honest with you. Justice League Superman. You missed that. Yeah, the BVS one is an awesome Superman. But I'm wondering if the Justice League Superman... The, the suit looks brighter, first of all. But I'm wondering if it's going to be the same head sculpt. Because what they showed at Comic-Con is the same head sculpt from the BVS one. So I'm wondering if that was just for, you know, for show for Comic-Con. Or they're going to put a brand new head sculpt. Draw it in. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm not Harry. 
they should give the DCU Joker a sad backstory. Hey, did you guys hear Jared Leto is not going to sign on for any sequels? So I wonder how that's going to pan out with the Joker. Hardly grow body hair? Um, I don't really have body hair. I don't have a hairy chest or anything. I got like maybe like a whisker. The Red Ranger PCS bus, I pre-ordered that sucker, man. That thing looks beautiful. If, would I like to have a beard if I could? I would like to see how I'd look in a beard, but I don't think I would be able to keep it. My favorite DC figure? Uh, it's probably, probably my Hot Toys 89 Batman. The four it pops look awesome. The what? The four it pops? Oh, the four it pops. Yeah, yeah, that those look sick. Jared Leto is doing a reboot for My So-Called Life. No, he's not. <laughs> hey, did you guys hear Jared Leto signed on for um, that character that Jason David Frank is doing for Bat in the Sun? I don't even know the character. He has like a silver face or blue face. But Jared Leto is in talks to play that superhero. I don't know why his name escapes me. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? If you guys follow Jason D David Frank... Bloodshot, there you go, thanks. That's who he's, uh, I think he's in talks to play Bloodshot. It's funny though, they should have just gotten Jason David Frank. Have you seen the trailer? Dude, I just saw this, the trailer for Stranger Things 2 yesterday. Freaking looks amazing, I cannot wait. That's going to make Suicide Squad obsolete. They need to just recast the Joker. Or they need to do something where this wasn't the real Joker. It was like the Joker's son or something. They, they need to do something. How do you handle when someone wants drama with you? Drama in what way? Explain. Explain. And I'll give you my point of view. Deadshot versus Joker? Deadshot. Flashpoint. Yeah, exactly, right? Flashpoint can change this whole thing. Where do I meet girls? Well, I'll tell you this. In my early 20s, I used to meet them at bars. I don't recommend it. Now that I'm older, find somebody who, 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 who's into the stuff that you're into. Have you played Batman on the NES a long time ago? Long time ago. They don't like you or bully you, talk about you, ETC. I'll tell you this, all right, guys? <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys something, a story. I used, to get, I used to get bullied a lot from elementary school all the way until, I want to say, sophomore year. I used to get bullied because I was a nerd, because I read comics, because of collecting cards because of shirts I used to wear that were X-Men, you know, Star Wars, whatever. And I used to get um, picked on for skateboarding. I used to get, you know, I used to get picked on a lot. I used to get picked on by cholos. I used to get picked on by skinheads. I used to get picked on by a lot of different, um, just different type of people. And I used to get scared. I used to get, uh, I used to get scared. I was, well, see, I'm reading your comment right now. I, I, that I was not I don't look like how I look now then I, I considered myself to look really ugly and I think I was like an ugly duckling um, I uh, I used to get threatened a lot by whether it be cholos or jocks they used to pick on me a whole lot and I never played a sport in my life and if you would look at me you might think I played a sport never played a sport in my life um, I played drums I skateboarded but what what I did was what happened was from getting picked on so much I would not go to school. I would be afraid and not go to school. I never stood up for myself, never stood up for myself. I had friends stood up for me. I felt like such a, you know, a sissy. Um, I would walk with my head down in school and that lasted until sophomore year. And then one day, my sister, who's a few years older than me, she was like, we need to change how you look, change your style. So I changed my style, started losing some weight. Um, I bleached my hair. This is when bleaching the hair was in. And uh, my confidence started going up a little bit, you know, little by little. It wasn't until after high school because my junior and senior year changed for me because I started having more friends, started getting more known. And then um, uh, after, uh, after I went to high school, I graduated, I started hitting the gym, building up my physique, and I just stopped taking people's crap. But I don't. I don't recommend getting into fights because I've been jumped a lot. That's the thing. I've been jumped. The thing is that I don't recommend getting into fights. 
I would just say stick up for yourself and then walk away. I know it sounds stupid and easier said than done, but don't let people pick on you. Don't let people pick on you for things you like because that's what I did. I used to have to hide that I loved collecting comic books. So don't do it, guys. Be ha- be proud of what you guys um, love doing and collecting. Like don't don't deny it. Do not deny it, man, cuz it's not it's not a good thing. And plus look at look at nowadays. Now you got these popular people wearing freaking comic book shirts and you know damn well they don't know anything about what they're wearing. I see so many people at the gym wear flash shirts, Superman shirts, and it's like sometimes I want to go up to them and be like, "School me on the on the on the character uh, shirt that you're wearing." I bet you anything they're not gonna say crap. They're not gonna know anything. Ba- they're probably no stuff that they see on TV. So, but that's my best advice for you guys, or for anyone who's getting picked on or getting bullied. Just hold your ground. Be proud of yourself. Don't deny yourself and uh just don't get into fights dude don't get into fights it's not worth it it's really really not worth it let me read some of these comments here let me read some of these comments uh chris thank you for sharing but now as an adult do you still face any evil people hell yeah i face people almost evil people every day there's a lot of fake people out there guys a lot of fake people out there um you just gotta you know keep your business to yourself do your do your own thing and just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. I try not to get into people's business. I I, I stick in my own lane. Well, when you first meet your current girl, what did you ask your toy? Uh, my current girlfriend is actually a coworker. That it's her cousin, and I've actually known her a few years. My girlfriend now. I've known her, but we just didn't start dating till a few months ago. And uh, yeah, she knows I do YouTube videos. She knows I have a collection. She knows everything and you know, she accepts it. You want all my Jason masks? <laughs> well, so where do you find girls that love the fig life, that fig life? You know what? I've never had really a big issue with, with my collection. Um, people at work might say I'm like a nerd or whatever, but it doesn't bother me anymore. I'm telling you guys, I've been picked on so much, had so much crap picked on, uh, said about me uh, by people and let it bother me so much when I was younger. Now I just don't care. Now I just want to live my life. I want to do me, do what makes me happy, do what makes my kids happy, and that's it. That's it. Frankenstein's trip in the near, maybe this weekend. Maybe this weekend. You should do more live streams. I'm gonna do, uh, I love doing live streams. Live streams are awesome. But where do you find girls that just, dude, go find somebody at Comic-Con. Go to Frankenstein's. Go mingle at comic stores. You'd be surprised, man. Go to the bookstore. Go Barnes and Nobles, you know. They're everywhere. Go to GameStop. Go to Hot Topic. You'll find yourself a collector girlfriend. After hearing your story, I look back and I've never experienced girls bullying me for being a nerd. Dude, I had girls bullying me for being a nerd. That's how bad it was, man. I had a lot of girls bullying me for being a nerd. And that, let me tell you something, that sucks. That sucks. But it's all good now. Because then you see the popular kids in school that picked on you and you look at them nowadays and they all look like crap. They all look like crap. Become druggies, you know, low lives. It's better to be a weirdo. (laughs) If they can see you now. Yeah, I look different. I look I look completely different. Do you really like your part five Jason mask? I like all my Jason masks. Yeah, man. And those were who wore the shirts. They told me you have to be at the right place in the right time to be a nerd. What does that mean? Hold grudges? I don't hold grudges anymore. I'll tell you this. I used to hold a lot of grudges. And uh, don't do it because it it messes with you. You start you start uh, building in, building up a lot of anger. So I would say, forgive and forget, man. No, I don't know if you have to say forget, but just forgive. Jigsaw player, what's up? Yeah, my friends. I mean, a lot of my friends know I collect. They don't. I mean, sometimes they'll give me crap for it, but it's all joking. Lego Titan, what's up? Yeah, it was, yeah, I know. It's okay to wear the shirts nowadays. Everyone liked this live stream? 
Ever worked retail? Yup. I've worked at Mervyn's. I've worked at Robinson's May. I've worked at Macy's. I think that's it. Holding grudges heard your turned your hair gray at 28. You being serious? No, man. I don't, I don't watch any sports. I, I don't watch any sports. Jason Mask. Where's your Leatherface mask? I want to get a custom one. What about the fam? Do they find it weird? No, they support it. Are you going to get into the mini? Am I going to get the mini SES? Man, I hope so. I hope so. Any good Batman villain toys? Dude, right here. Well, and this isn't a Batman villain, but he's a DC villain. This thing's freaking badass. Uh, but yeah, I'll go, I'm, going to go, I'm going to go in the toy room right now in a second. Are you going to see Jigsaw? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I mean, I don't know. How did I handle the rudeness back then? I held it all in, man. I held it all in, which is a mistake. I never told my parents I was getting bullied. And that's why I say, like, you got to let people know that it bothers you. Speak up, man, because you carry that with you. It's going to mess you up. What's your favorite Funko Pop? I'm going to tell you my favorite Funko Pop in a second. Just found the Leak Infinity uh, War trailer. What'd you think? What'd you think about it? What type of music do you like? I'll tell you what I'm listening to right now. A lot of Deftones. Corn, Lincoln Park because I Lincoln Park I loved as a kid. I I stopped listening to Lincoln Park after Meteora, but I mentioned this in my last live stream. I've saw, I've seen Lincoln Park before Lincoln Park was even big in concert. But Lincoln Park, Corn, Papa Roach, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam. I think those are the ones that I'm listening to right now. Mean customers. What about mean customers? The, you know what? Uh. I still deal with mean patients at the at the at the uh, medical field. Sometimes you just gotta bite your tongue, dude. You gotta bite your tongue, and you also have to think about it. Look at it like this: you don't know what's going on in their lives, right? They could be having the worst day, so you, you just have to you just have to play nice, man, because you don't know what they're, what's going on in their lives either. Take us on a field trip downstairs. We're gonna go there right now. Seb Killer never played any sports. I yeah, you never played sports either. Just lift weights, man. What's the, what was the that giant wolf hawk that was fighting at the Ragnarok trailer? Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to get into the Sentinel? Do I want to get into the Sentinel Iron Man? I'm trying to look for DC comic figures. It is hard. Um, you might want to look up DC Direct. How can I afford so many awesome figures? You gotta, you gotta save wisely, man. What's my favorite game to play? I like a lot of retro games. Thanks for the tips. It's good to prepare for the medical field. Hey, DAR, you going to the medical field? Thanks for the pep talk. No problem. Let's go to the toy room. You watch any anime? No, I don't. I don't. I've been wanting to get into something. Guys, recommend some uh, an anime for me to watch. Jigsaw movie looks sort of good, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, do those do those movies ever really have to make any sense? Pediatrician. Dang, man. Dude, you want to be a pediatrician? Sailor Moon. All right, guys. going dark don't worry I'm still here all right so we're going to the toy room hold on what comments do I got here Leatherface needs a Funko Pop they, they do have a Leatherface Funko Pop Attack on Titan. You know what? I did watch Attack on Titan. I love it. What type of underwear do you use? Uh, I use boxer briefs, Calvin Klein. Lots of work. But yeah, man. It'll be worth it, D.A.R. What's your favorite pop? I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you my favorite pop. Let's get the lights on. Hold on. Let's get the lights on in here. You guys want to see my favorite pop? 
That's my favorite pop right now. This guy is my favorite pop. Let me open this up. This guy is just, I was one of the few to get this guy first. Do you read Red Sonja? No, I don't. But like I was one of the first to get this guy and everybody was asking me if it's a custom, is it fake? I was like, no man, I got the box and everything, it's legit. But um, Box Lunch got this, sold this guy a little early, but oh my God, this guy is beautiful. Beautiful. Have I seen the animated Assault on Arkham? Yeah, I love it. I'm excited for the It Pops, Emma. Yeah, these are, I'm excited for them too, man. I want that wig one. Aren't you afraid they come alive like animal status? Uh, if any of them are going to come to live animal status, I want it to be it. Hot Topic, the Chase, and uh, the, the Walmart Chase is the one I want. You have them too? You managed to, where'd you get them at? Not a fan of horror. Yeah, a lot of people aren't horror fans. But, um, woo! Yeah, this movie sucked anyways. You stay there. But, uh, yeah, then I have this one here. Then I have this one here. And then I have my, um, my little glow-in-the-dark Funko Mini, which is in a, in a, in a storage lunchbox and i did a review on did you what, what lunchbox did you find them from what area are you in oh as far as the jason mass this is the only one i have displayed right now i put a lot of the horror stuff away uh what um oh sacramento oh okay did they do you think they released it early in your area yeah the bruce wayne pop where is he oh there he is right there i forgot i had him up and then i have aries over here and then I got more exclusives upstairs in the toy room, like the Princess Leia. Where's the Alien Queen Pop and the Doom? They're in uh, bins. A lot of stuff is still in bins. Uh, I grew up with horror movie guys. So I grew up since I was like, I think, four years old watching horror movies. So it doesn't really phase me anymore. No, I've never played the... Uh... Oh, yeah, I have played the, the Friday the 13th game. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Where's the spawn statue? Oh, actually, I actually traded it. I, I traded that spawn statue off. That statue is gone. That's I have that crappy one right there. But, yeah, that one, that one spawn statue I had that was pretty awesome, I, I ended up trading it off. Do you have Reagan? New. Freddy versus Jason, I didn't care for it. Yeah, the um the uh the bunks the, the bunks lunch the box lunch um they had one chase and the guy ahead of me in the line had it and I ended up picking up this last one right here. Oh the Exorcist Re uh, Reagan pop. No, I don't. I've been telling myself I've been wanting to get that. I have the NECA um Reagan where she's on the bed. Imagine if they all came to life at night and just talked amongst each other. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. I moved uh, this Detoff case in here. Now, what's in here is I just wanted to test out what, what's going to be in here. I don't think this is going to stay the way it is. But I moved this Detoff. And I got my, my phone up here if I need to make any calls. Right there. Anybody needs to call me. But again, I mean, the, the toy room's not even done yet, guys. As, as I've mentioned before, there is boxes here full of stuff in them. So I still need to like fill this section up and then, you know, whatever's going to go in here. Still a lot of stuff missing. Let me read some comments. What hot toys do I plan on getting from SDCC? 1-4 scale Batman and Joker from the Dark Knight and all the Justice League and Homecoming figures. That NECA Ken though, you should get more NECA Street Fighter stuff. Give me your, give me yours, D.A.R. Oh man. Yeah, I'm on a Spider-Man craze right now, too. Show your bins? Uh, I can't do it right now. It's too late. I might do a live stream sometime this week going through the bins. If you guys really want to see it, it would be a really, really long video, though, because I, there's so much stuff scattered in there. Did you play Arkham Knight? Yes, I did. Do you have the Batman anime series Firefly? Firefly? No, I don't. I don't. I've, I've been meaning to pick that one up from Big Bad. But did any of you guys jump on this guy when he's on clearance? Not a big Deadpool fan, but I couldn't pass on him. And this is such a nice figure. Such a nice figure. And of course, my Venom right here. 
Those Batman the Animated Series stands suck. Hell yeah, they do. Where's the Megazord? Which one? I have several Megazords. Nice Batman collection. Thank you. When I say penis, you say Parker. <laughs> and then I have the, uh, I guess this is a rare Batman right here. Right? Which I only got for, I think, $20 or $25, which is a steal. I think they priced it wrong. Yeah, I store, I store my figures in little baggies. I have part three NECA Jason Mask. Greetings from the UK. Miles, what's up? Your little live chat is almost an hour. God, see what I'm saying? What's your favorite Arkham game? Uh, I think Arkham Asylum. Oh, the Funko Pop Megazords in the toy room with uh, all my other exclusives that I have up there. You know what I just found out? Still got to review. I know I got to review the Batman and Robin figures. These I didn't know I had these mini mates sitting in the bins. They were sitting in there for, I think, like three or four years. I never knew I had these. It's crazy. They're pretty cool, though. I got this guy right here. One of my favorite uh, Swamp Thing figures. Bath Juggernaut or Select? Dude, I go for detail. Go with Select. Look at the size on this beast. Yeah, I still have all my Blackest Night figures. The DC Directs, those are in the bins. I should do a review right now on this guy. Boom, 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 boom. Where's those nipples at? No. No, no nipples. Post games. Have you heard of the new Batman Arkham game in 2018? No, I haven't heard of the rumors of those. Anyone for scale in the bins? Yes, there's a lot of quarter scale stuff in there. Dude, whatever is you don't see in my in my room of stuff that I reviewed. It's in there, or unless I traded it off. So, but yeah, I, I need to give this room more love than I than I should, or than I, you know, than I have been. Man, I still got this freaking steel book sitting in here for Force Awakens, which I only got for ten bucks. Dragon Ball Z fan, I never, I've never seen uh, Dragon Ball Z, so I can't see if I'm a fan or not because I've never really watched it. <clears throat> Why no nips? I don't know. You know what? They should have put the nipples on them. I think this is the the stand too for the Batman. Can you follow me on my channel, uh, Applesauce? I'll check it out. Did you find the Funko Toy Biz Marvel or the find the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Icons Hulk figure yet? The Toy Biz Icons, no, but they have the new 12 inch one, which I'm gonna just pick up that one. But I wouldn't mind picking up the um, Icon one. Make a custom Red Hood figure, dude, my customs would be terrible. I want a rebooted TMNT movie, I think we all do, and I think we want them all looking like the turtles. Do you watch any novelas? No, man, I don't. I think I used to watch them with my parents growing up. Do you do a custom Seha Man Pop? How about somebody do one for me? How come you never got the Batman the Animated Series Bat Signal from DC Collectibles? Because I'm tired of having so many Batman and Robins. I don't want to spend any more money on them. So if anything, I'll just buy it loose. What do I think of the new Spawn movie? I don't know, man. I don't think it's going to be any good, to be honest with you. I, I don't think it's gonna be any good. And I think Todd McFarlane waited way too long. Do you have any thought do you have any code of a Kia? No, I don't have any of the Bishoju statues. I think I'm saying that right. Olaf, I'll see you later. Yeah, I don't have any of those. Do you dance Seha, Banda, or Cumbia? My girlfriend says she she's gonna teach me how to dance uh bachata. I'm excited for the new twelve inch Hulk. Me too. See, I got the, uh, I was working on a review for um, the two pack right here, the Princess Leia and uh, R2-D2, the summer exclusive. But since I don't have my laptop yet to upload anything, it's gonna have to wait. You need to upload a dancing video. Oh God. I don't know about all that. You guys are crazy. Nobody wants to see me dance. Hey, D.A.R., do you remember we were talking about Superhuman Samurai? Are you still on? Oh! Porchatas. 
Dance to Despacito. I don't even like that song. I don't like, the, you know who I like? You guys ever heard of Romeo Santos? Oh yeah, uh, D.A.R., look it. I forgot I had this guy. Mr. Servo right here. Do, 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 Samurai, Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. That one thing that I don't like about DC collectibles, they keep bringing out toys we already have to sell other, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Despacito, that's such a funny song. I found this guy to swamp me and I think it was like two bucks. Update in the toy room, as soon as I get my lazy ass to get everything out of the bins so I can start um, cleaning it up. But I'm just lazy. Applesauce, see you later. Favorite episode of um, Superhuman Samurai? I don't have to rewatch it to, to really. All right, Chris, take it easy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what my favorite episode is. I always like the first episode. I love the vintage TMN TMNT. I love them too. Do I have a Red Hood figure? Yeah, I have the GameStop exclusive Red Hood figure. And I have, very, I have a couple Joker Red Hood figures. Yo, do you watch Game of Thrones? No, my sister just got into it. She's been telling me I need to get into it. Have you seen the new NECA, Chucky, Freddy Krueger? Yep, going to be picking those up. Remember the villain? He always had such a funny laugh when he played the villain, the same guy who played it. Yeah, Tim Curry. Do you remember the guy who was in the computer, though? that, that weird-looking guy who wore all black? That guy was weird. Recommend any good swamp meets in the L.A. area? You know what? Um, I don't know. I don't know about the L.A. area. Try Cerritos. Try the Cerritos one. Or La Mirada, La Mirada, and then there's one out, one by Newport Beach. Um, I'll do an update video on the exact location. Tim Curry as Kiloan. Did you ever have the vintage TMNT slime? Yes. Dude, I, had, I think I had like the majority of TMNT stuff growing up as a kid. I do want to... If you go to Swamp Meets, you will find a lot of the vintage stuff. You will find a lot of vintage Batman figures. That's where I found uh, Servo. That's where I found a lot of my on-card... Um, uh, Batman figures over here and then Street Sharks. The horror figures of Fat Collectible. How'd you know about that? How'd you know about the horror figures of Fat Collectible? I've never watched Rick and Morty and check out Iron Man by Sentinel. Won't mention. Oh, I love Linkin Park. In case you guys didn't watch my last live stream, I've liked Linkin Park since their first album, and I've seen Linkin Park before I even knew who Linkin Park was in, in concert. Yeah, I have a lot of Batman Arkham figures, a lot of them. Where? They're in they're in bins. They're all in bins. Who's my favorite Batman? Live action? Uh Michael Keaton's always gonna have a place in my heart, but I think um Ben Affleck is the best comic book version Batman. You guys want a little head? <laughs> is that focusing in? Ooh. Leave you right here. <laughs> Crack open the bins. Not a big beer drinker. The CEU figures look like in Kenner scale. That'd be dope. How long is the streaming going on? 59 minutes. Going on an hour. Um... So yeah, so hopefully my laptop will be coming tomorrow. If you guys didn't know, if you didn't watch my lab, my last live stream, my laptop broke down. Uh, my son spilled soda all over my laptop. So I <laughs> for the past like three days, I haven't been able to upload any videos. And But I have been working on reviews still and toy hunting stuff, but I just can't upload them because I don't have a laptop. I ordered a, Yeah, you didn't know that, D.A.R.? Uh, I just ordered a new one 
um, I just ordered another MacBook Pro. So it should be coming in the mail tomorrow. And uh, we'll have it up. We'll start having videos up by uh, Friday or Thursday. Doesn't Joker always seem to love Batman? Yes, he does. What will be your next review? I don't know. I, I already uh, pre-recorded a lot of stuff. Yeah, Ben Affleck reminds me of the animated series Batman for sure. For sure. Um, I re I've already pre-recorded a lot of uh, uh, Marvel Legends. There's a lot of Marvel Legends that are pre-recorded. And some toy hunting videos. Superhuman Samurais. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot of live streams, Alex. There's going to be a lot of live... I want to see my goal. Like, I was thinking about it. I wouldn't mind doing a live stream every day. Because I actually enjoy doing these. But I don't know if that's possible. So, I figure maybe every two to three weeks. Every two... Uh, two videos every uh, week. Power Ranger glasses. Do you think there will be more figures from... Ah, uh, cut off. From the thing. I don't know, man. I don't think so. Wait. Isn't Storm Collectibles doing the thing figures? I can't buy any Mattel Justice League figures unless it's Wonder Woman because everyone looks like garbage. Dude, I agree with you. They look pretty bad. I, I want the Flash one on the tactical, tactical Batman. Hablas Español? Si hablo Español. Isn't Ben Affleck supposed to be the older Batman from The Dark Knight Returns? Yes. Uh, it's loosely based off it. Loosely based off The Dark Knight Returns. <clears throat> Favorite movie, Joker? Uh, um, the Dark Knight. Chief Ledger, followed by probably a tie between Cesar Romero and Jack Nicholson. Because I thought Cesar Romero was awesome in uh, Batman, uh, the TV show. I just get a Hot Toys, man. Just get a Hot Toys Justice League. Favorite scene from Homecoming. You know what? I, I liked Homecoming, but I still don't think it's the best Marvel movie. Or Spider-Man movie. I really don't think it's the best Spider-Man movie. Uh, but favorite scene? What's Joker's real name? Jack Napier. Uh, favorite scene? Um, from Spider-Man Homecoming. I don't know. I like when the teacher walked in on the big dude. Was his name Ned or something? And she's like, what are you watching? And he's like, uh, porn? That's... <laughs> I love that scene. And I love the talk that Michael Keaton gave... Peter Parker, uh, when he was driving him to prom, when he was like, I'll hurt everybody you love. That was so good. Michael Keaton. Intimidating. Blitzway Hannibal. Yes, I did. Yeah, you got to sell your soul to buy those hot toys. Sell your cars. Sell your collection. Sell everything for hot toys. Sell your house. Get all the hot toys. Got to do what you got to do to be a collector, man. It ain't easy being a collector. Yeah, that scene was intense. I love that scene. But I still don't think Spider-Man Homecoming was the best Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't know. I, I Yeah, I thought that too. People thought Joker's name is Jason. Or people thought Jason Todd was Joker. Gotta drop out, dude. You gotta do what you gotta do. I don't think the movie... I didn't see the movie. Please don't talk about it much. Oh, okay, sorry. But yeah, some people thought that or there's a theory that the joker and suicide squad was jason todd then what spider-man movie do i love um i love spider-man 2 i love spider-man 2 not the amazing spider-man 2 but spider-man 2 have you ever trained in any combat sports muay thai keanu reeves vulture yeah keanu reeves vulture i'm not gonna lie to you he is one of the best mcu villains did i say keanu reeves Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Dude, Keanu Reeves is a villain. would be sick. You love The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I didn't hate The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I hated the Rhino. I didn't care for Green Goblin's character. But I like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Yeah, Sam Raimi Spider-Man has a special place in my heart too. I love the third one. I know a lot of people didn't. I love the third one. But Spider-Man 2 with Doc Ock... It was a freaking badass movie. And that's that train scene. I was hoping the fairy scene in Spider-Man Homecoming would be their version of Spider-Man 2's train scene, but it wasn't at all. The action was 100% on Spider-Man in Amazing Spidey 2. It was. But Spider-Man Homecoming, I mean, we'll see how the next one goes. We'll see how the next one goes. 
I was hoping Spider-Man Homecoming would have like more heart. You know what I mean? And some kind of mention of Uncle Ben. Show your Power Ranger figures. They're uh, facing me right now. I'll show you a quick look at them. Some of them. These are some of them. Not all of them. That's just some of them. Because a lot of them are still... Uh, a lot of them still are in bins. Yeah, that train scene is still, is, was, a, was a badass scene. Yeah, the action was lacking in Homecoming. I think people were just hyping up Homecoming only because it was part of the MCU. I think that was the only reason why I was getting so hyped up was because it was part of the MCU because Iron Man was in it. And uh, it was a comedy. When are you going to upload the SDC pop hunt? I didn't do a pop hunt video for the SDC stuff. I just did a haul video. Esteban, no problem. Yeah, I, I didn't want to spend time recording because I was literally running around. And I wouldn't have had much time to... to like when I got the scare glow and the, the Tigger, I got those by luck, man. I, I ran into Barnes & Noble and grabbed them. And I didn't see the Lord of the Rings 2-pack. It was sitting there and I didn't even look at it. My girlfriend's like, ooh, look at the Lord of the Rings 2-pack. But I wasn't paying attention. I like Spidey in the MCU, but the execution was meh. I, I mean, I agree. But we also have to remember he's a younger Spider-Man and he's going to, you know, develop his character. Spider-Man didn't hit the vulture once. Yeah, I don't think he did. I think he was just getting dragged around. I would have had adult 90 Spider-Man on film. Adult Spidey's, adult Spidey, what? I don't get that, 90s on film? I want the animated series on DVD or Blu-ray. That's what I want. Anybody find Mask of the Phantasm on Blu-ray? Couldn't find it. Went to several stores. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah, that would have been good. That would have been good starting off with the Spider-Man, but I think they wanted to... I don't know. MCU has a plan, dude. We all know. Favorite superhero is Batman. MCU has a plan. In the Batman vs. Superman, there was a scene where there was a Robin suit. You can tell it's Robin by the R. Yeah. Yeah, it is Robin. I think I'm pretty sure that one's probably Jason Todd because they're already coming out with a Nightwing movie and that's obviously going to be Dick Grayson. Thor trailer was pretty good. I thought it was too much humor. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to love the movie, but I thought it was too much humor. I like that end shot though where Hulk is jumping in to fight that huge villain. Don't know the name of him. And Justice League trailer blew me away. I loved it. Yeah, Tim Drake doesn't... No, actually, Tim... Yeah, Tim Drake doesn't get a lot of love. I was going to confuse myself with Jason Todd. When is It coming out? I never heard of it. When is the movie It coming out? Stephen King's It? That movie's coming out in uh, September. Yeah, they need to do the, 90, the 1992 or 91 X-Men animated series on Blu-ray. I have them all on DVD, though. That's good for now. But we need Spider-Man too. And we need Batman the Animated Series on Blu-ray. And Zelda. And Batman Beyond. And everything from the 90s. <sighs> we need to marry the children on Blu-ray. I have the, the complete season. But what's your most anticipated movie of the rest of the year? It. Have you ever watched the movie Mask from the 80s? Not the Jim Carrey one? Yes. The one with Cher, right? And Schultz, uh, something Schultz, the guy who's going to play the original Marty from uh, Back to the Future. I can't wait to get those Justice League and Thor figures. I saw the Thor figures today um, at uh, Target. There will be a toy review coming up, or a toy review, a toy hunting video. You guys will see me run into those. Am I the only person that realized Martian Manhunter is not part of the Justice League movie coming out? Yeah, no, a lot of people have mentioned that. Uh, and um, same with Green Lantern was another one. Yeah, I, I, Married Children's an awesome show. 
Can I get a shout out, please? Uh, yeah, Jacob Quinones Gaming. Asian Gamer, what's up? Eric Stoltz, the kid, yeah, that's who it is. Go to FYE, you can find in the mall, you find Batman Anime Series on Blu-ray. What did I think of the movie The Mask? I haven't seen it in a while. I, have, I think I saw that movie when I was a teenager or maybe a kid. It creeped me out. Freaking guy's face creeped me out. I'll always remember that episode of Family Guy where a girl's, a blind girl's feeling on his face and she's like, oh, what is this, a potato? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. They're pulling the new 52 route with Justice League. The new 52 ain't new anymore. I know. I think they're doing a little bit of rebirth too. Well, that was in Wonder Woman. What do you think of the 3 a.m. challenges? What are the 3 a.m. challenges? Do you know McJuggernuts? No, but I know Juggernaut. I have him right back here. What's a McJuggernaut? Is that a new order at McDonald's? Just want to let you know, bro, you're one of the best toy vloggers who keeps it simple but yet informative. Been a fan since this year. Keep it up. Hey, man, I appreciate that. Gwimbery, a uh, quagmire, giggity gig with Psycho Dad. <laughs> oh my God, those Psycho Dad songs were hilarious. <laughs> Did you ever watch Digimon? No, I never watched it. I wanted to get into it, but I never watched it. He destroys games. Yeah, D.A.R., man, I, me and you, I think, started around the same time. I think we started around the same time. You should do, you should have your dogs on during the stream. They are awesome. They're outside right now. It's, it's too hot right now in here, and it's way cooler outside. <laughs> psycho Dad. They should have a Psycho Dad series. We need more bat nips. <laughs> Oh, it's fake. Psycho dead and badass. Need some of that. Uh, Val Kilmer, badass. McJuggernuts. You know what? The life size, uh, life size cardboard cutouts. I, I was actually looking into them for the past few months. Um, I would only get one if there was a Pennywise one. And a certain Batman one. Batgirl ass. Best Buy. Yeah, I know. I was at Best Buy today. I did a, a video today. And um, I went to Best Buy. And I went to Barnes Nobles. Best Buy has it online. But if anything, I'm going to order from Amazon. Do you think the new It movie is going to live up to Tim Curry's It movie? I'll tell you this. <clears throat> the It movie from the 90s series, obviously because it was in a TV series, it was not even close to the book. You know what I mean? So this one is supposed to be pretty close to the book except for that end scene if you guys know what I'm if you guys read the book you know what I'm talking about but um this is supposed to be more close to the source material which is I'm which I'm excited for I love the it original series for what it was for what for what it was Tim Curry you know killed it as it uh but this new one is going to be closer to the book and so I think this is going to be a great movie and they already uh announced the second part do you like Legos yes I do Wacko Toys. Looking at this right here. Wacko Toys. Yeah, I was hoping we'd get some kind of special versions of Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Uh, a steel book would have been cool. That would have been awesome. Or like some kind of a digi book or something. I went to Target. I went to Target. They didn't have it. When am I going to drop my video of my entire collection? I don't know, man. As soon as I can get everything out. Because stuff sitting in bins and it's just, it's a hassle. Did you check Best Buy? Yeah. Went to Best Buy, went to Barnes & Noble, went to Target. Uh, I didn't go to FYE. I'll probably go to FYE tomorrow to see if they have it. I mean, I'm in no rush to get it. Have you ever watched Saw? Yeah, I saw the first three. I love the first movie. Saw 1 was amazing. That twist at the end. It's crazy. When did I start collecting? Originally when I was like five. Then I stopped when I was, I think, 13 and started up again, I think around 24. Yeah, I don't I don't not really interested in the Jigsaw movie. It doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. 
Saw 7 is awesome. Damn, there's 7 saws? I didn't know there was that many. Guardians 2 made made you cry. Dude, I'll tell you what scene made you cry. Spoilers if you guys haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Um, when Yondu's flying up with uh, uh, Peter, and he's like, he might have been your father, but he's not your daddy. Poof. Any of you guys weren't raised by your real father, you guys you guys know that'll that'll hit you right in the feels. Salvador, what's up? Look guys, I finally built King Shark. The DC Collect and Connect King Shark. Yeah man, check out Guardians 2. It's a lot more humor, but it's still cool. Yeah, we get a lot of toys here first. My favorite NMDs that I own, um, they are the uh, Adidas NMDs, the uh, olive ones I have. Those are my first pair and I love them a lot. I also like the Adidas Stan Winstons. Stan Winstons are classy shoes, man. I'm going to do a review on the It movie. Hell yeah. I'm going to do a live stream um, right when the movie's done. I'm going to go catch it at midnight or the night before on a Thursday and I'm going to do a live stream review on it. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I'm gonna. I'll get it on Amazon. That's my plan on on it. Is that a street truck? Yeah, it's a street truck. Hey, 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 hey uh, Dar. What do you think about the scrolls being in the MCU now? You guys know obey the walrus. Creepy. <laughs> I love the movie It. Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> He's all Mary Poppins. Oh man, Guardians was funny. Give you guys one last shot. Love this. I love the look. I love the look since day one. A lot of people don't like the look. What are my thoughts on 1 billion subs? I wish. And then there's the classic look right here. Which, guys, based off of the pops, because we obviously don't know how um, Scar's Guard or whatever his name is going to be, how he's going to portray it. But which one do you like better as far as look goes? Which look do you find more menacing, more scary? Let me know. You guys want to see Seha? There he is. There's Seha. Turn this off. Just drop the Batman. Say goodbye to the toy room, guys. Freaking lights look sick, right? Get a pair of Walmart shoes and dress pants? Hell yeah. Jesus, what's up, man? My day's going good, man. Thanks. Been busy going to some doctor's appointments, running around, went to my girlfriend's real quick, went to the gym. Excuse me, guys. Goosebumps or Tales in the Crypt? You're killing me. I love Goosebumps, but I'm going to go with Tales in the Crypt. Am I excited for Pacific Rim Uprising? I didn't even see the teaser trailer. Wasn't there like a teaser trailer for it? I didn't even see it. I'm going to go outside. Oh, it's so nice out here. We all flat down here? No, we all float down here. I think it makes, I think what makes Curry so scary is that he looks so normal. No, that's cool, man, if you like Saw. No worries. Can you review the Jungle Demon? Yeah, I'm actually gonna pick that guy up very soon. Dogs here. Run to In and Out. One solo nine. Where are you from? Hey, cutie. Easy guys, easy. We need more Predator films and aliens. What do you guys think of the new it? Go to sleep. <laughs> 
Hold on, guys. I got locked out of the, the garage. That's why I'm coming through here. Sacramento, do a meetup, dude. Pulling an all-nighter. What's your favorite candy mine? I love I love, I love Sour Patch Kids. Those are so good. And I love uh, I love gummy uh, lifesavers. Pebbles. I think my dog ran out of sight. She's not in here. And I think she did. I got to call my dog back in. Uh, but it's getting late, guys. I'm going to end the live stream. And um, I'll probably do a live stream tomorrow because I'm gonna be, uh, hopefully my laptop will be coming in the mail. So I'll be doing a, uh, an unboxing live stream on that. Come to NYC and get a toy hunt. Fly me out there, bro. So so uh, we'll see you guys later, right? Thanks for guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your questions and everything. I'll be I'll do another live stream tomorrow um, for the unboxing of the, uh, the laptop if it comes in tomorrow. If not, I'll still do a live stream anyways. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. What days do I do live stream? I do them randomly, just randomly. See you guys later, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.